Hi, hi. Um, so, okay, I'm gonna get close because I want you guys to hear me. So I decided to make a video today about, the title of this video is, uh, is um, things I wish Justine Sky knew. Things I want Justine Sky to know. So, okay, um, I had to like literally leave um, the hotel, but it looks like the bar is completely popping tonight. Like a lot of people are coming to that bar. I didn't know that was like a, a hot spot, but it is. I'm not going, but whatever. Um, okay, so Justine Sky has this song. It's called like, What a Lie. You know, I think she wrote it about one of her dusty ass exes. Perfect, right? This is not the point though. Like, so she puts this question mark behind it. She says, stream what a lie, question mark. Like, obviously this is what I want you guys to do. I'm putting out music, I want you to listen to it. And I think she's wondering, like, why aren't people, like, listening to it? And, like, what's go? like, where's the disconnect, right? That's probably what she's wondering. Oh, this makes sense. It's a, it's a fucking lovely question. And I think, like, I just want to tell this part of the story. I, uh... I didn't even know who Justin Sky was until like, uh, I don't know, 2021. Like, no one had ever recommended, like I have a lot of black friends, none of my black friends ever recommended her music, no one was like saying anything. So like of all the people I was around, nobody, I didn't know any Justin Sky songs. And I really like her as an artist, but there's like so many artists out there's so many content creators out. Unless like one of your best friends is listening to the song, like how would you know to listen to it? And then when she put out the video with like the supermodels, I was like, oh my God, I love her even more. She relates to us, she sees us, like I love her. But like, why didn't I know about her sooner, you know? Like, why are people just now recommending Justine Sky to me? I want to see, I wanted to see her like in 2008 putting out, like I look back at her old stuff, it's so good. Like, why didn't I not hear about her? Like, why wasn't she marketed to me? And that's like people, the, the artists who keep being marketed to me are Kehlani. I fucking hate that dyke. Like, I'm sorry, stop marketing Kehlani to me. I don't want to listen to any Kehlani music. I don't want to see any of her blogs. That is not the artist for me. Like, Justine Sky is an appropriate, because it's a lifestyle. Like, Justine Sky is writing about heterosexual relationships with men and, like, really all the fuck shit that goes along with that. Okay, like, if you are a dyke, then you should go listen to Kehlani, because that's what she's making music and content about. Like, she put out another video today that was about that. I'm not downing that. I'm not saying. I don't know, bro. I guess the point here is like, I think just one thing Justine Sky should know is that there are so many girls who would probably like love to watch her music, but the marketing, your marketing team is not doing a good job because girls like me who would actually love to listen to your content and learn about you, we don't know you exist. There's a lot of them. So you need to go into more black communities or other communities that you're not going into and like promote because like we don't know you're alive. that's like thing one and then thing two I guess it's kind of like um I mean I just hope that she really realizes what clout is and how many people like girls who have like Justine Sky has been singing is singing she's like putting out bodies of work she has talent right there are so many people in Hollywood who have in LA who have no talent their only talent is what we call being pretty. There's this idea of what it is to be pretty. That's why y'all all keep talking about Instagram face. These girls all go to the surgeon and they say, make me look like uh, Angelina Jolie from 1990. Because everybody wants that face and they'll all go buy it. Now nothing's wrong with that. The only problem is in terms of everyone in the world, we don't all want to look like Angelina Jolie. Some people want to look like Rihanna. Some people want to look like Beyonce. Some people want to look like Thames from um, Essence with the video with WizKid. 
So, I mean, you can't really plastic surgery your skin color, or I don't even know if you can plastic surgery your way to Tim's. Like she has something that you can't buy in the store or on the surgical table, you know what I mean? Like she's like, just it's, it's like crazy that a sheer number of people who I've heard in the real world talk about Tim's beauty, it's just like, damn, like she's so beautiful. Like you can't buy that. That is not purchasable in Los Angeles. And so I think Justine Sky just needs to realize like the people, the beautiful people around her who are clout chasing can technically, sometimes they might actually lead you away from what you want, which is a connection with your fans. Which like when you were doing those Instagram lives were so great because now that I know who you are as an artist, I wanna tune in to your Instagram live because like I wanna see what you're talking about. Like I wanna hear your inspiration for the new song. I wanna know about whatever those like McDonald's chit chats were. Those are special. I, I, I wanna, I missed all of that. But and now you have these wind downs on Wednesday. And like, I wanna know, like, I wanna know about the collaboration with Seven Streeter when she wrote the A Train song. I love that song. I listened to that song on the train. You know what I'm saying? Like, to me, it's everything. It's everything. Um, and yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, Want, we can go people watch and the and the bar upstairs. We can. I guess that's what I wanted Justine Sky to know. I feel like also, I don't know. Do more meet and greets with your fans. And just really like listen to what they're saying because like I think that you have Justine's guy. I hope you realize that you have something that no one can buy or take away. Like there are people who really support you, and like you are our current black pop girl. Like you know, and so I'm gonna continue to support you. Like if you come to San Francisco, I'm gonna buy a ticket. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying it's everything. I'm only one person, but. I'm just saying I think my viewership matters too and my like I want to put my money and my streams and my time into Justine's like career you know what I'm saying and like I I think that that's valuable and important and I'm gonna keep uplifting you as an artist and and I hope that you do well I don't know that's yeah